um you know one advice that i can give to people regarding this trump shooting that is going on around here i'm not trying to make it longer or anything i'm just gonna tell you guys that people are gonna be people and if people want fame they'll go to any extent to get fame this come to conclusion that trump shooting is based on him being want to be a president and when people don't like people or if they are powerful people involved in stuff it makes it so hard for the other person i just don't know why trump didn't win the last election but it has its own reason and for people to go beyond means beyond expectation if you don't like someone it's fine but for you to go above and beyond just to hurt someone for your own personal needs presidentship is not a lifetime like royalty king whatever you gotta be there for the longest you're gonna be on is eight years if you be on four years and if you're lucky you get to go on for another four years eight years that's the longest you have to be on but why humans are so greedy and so bitter in the hat just to go to extent of hurting people this poor guy is just trying to make our country better but look what happened to him he was trying to get back his position that he had years ago and he was in pennsylvania doing his party promoting his party whatever for people to vote for him and look that's why i always say that when you have something going on with someone make sure you make amends or just cut it off just all this stuff comes to us the little one people little people that are, are down here that certain stuff are worth it and certain stuff are not worth it like what if he would have lost his life in this massive shooting that went on it was eight bullets that went on i just feel bad for him and his family like if he was being attacked that means his family gotta watch their back wherever they go I know these are powerful, powerful people that they have massive security and stuff. But me and you, we don't have security. We're just walking around and if we're lucky, a police will find out someone is chasing us or someone did something to us. But I really feel bad down in me. I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that even powerful people are being attacked. What about us? We have to get ourselves out of any trouble that is like whining around. Everywhere you go on the internet is about Trump shooting, Trump shooting. Like, what would have happened if the shooting got missed and hit him where he couldn't survive? What would have people been talking about? Like, people would be jubilating that they are happy that it happened or they are sad that it happens. I know a lot of people will be sad that in one situation, people are finding joy in hurting people for their own benefit. I just don't know how this human cr criteria works and human brains work. Like, when you get someone out of the way and you come here or you become a president or whatever, whoever, like, was involved behind this shooting and stuff, like, and if you become a president, are you going to stay on forever? Are you going to be a president for the rest of your life? No. It's just like... It, every four years there's someone being chosen for you to have your whatever for four eight years you would rather take someone's life and be on like it does not even make sense i know it makes sense in a way but why hurt someone to get something like are you going to be able to sleep comfortable in your bed that you hurt someone to get the position that you're in there I'm not trying to blame anybody. It could be a fan or it could be whatever people that are out there. But it is just so sad that in this world, people have to do whatever it takes to clear people out of their ways for their own benefit. I know in this world, you have to do whatever it takes to fend for yourself, to provide for yourself. But for you have to do whatever it takes to get someone out of picture. It's not like putting someone in jail. You're going to honor life someone. The person has family. People have family. People have people that look after them, like look upon to them, like needs them in their life. Like it's just so sad. If you don't like someone, that's not the easy take out. 
I feel so bad for this guy because every time you go on a rally, you have to be watching your back or you have to be bulletproof. I just, like, it does not make sense. Why hurt him? Let him campaign his election, whatever he want to do. And if he wins, great. If he doesn't win, I know people don't want him to win. But why take people out? And in this crowd, it's not just this man. There are a lot of people's family gathered around doing this parade and stuff. Like, why her? You don't think beyond your own personal needs or it's just your personal needs that matters in this world? That's why I feel like this all stuff is like, just let me come and get fame and get money and gone. It's not about we the people living in the country struggling every single day to make ends meet. It's just about people who want benefit for their families and stuff. It's just so sad. Like, I got so sad. I felt so sad for this poor guy. Like, he was standing, like, straight, and he happened to turn a little bit, then the bullet missed and hit his ear. It could have been the worst-case scenario. He could have been got hurt. He would, it could have been hurt or something. Like, why do... Just, like, I know it happens a lot, President Lincoln or all the, all the old presidency that came... Why do you have to, they have to be assassinated? Why? Why do you have to hurt someone for your own personal needs? This is not the personal needs for our people, we the Americans. This is not in our favor or anything. When you hurt Trump, it's not gonna favor us or in anything. But you are doing this in your own favor so you can be public, whatever, represent, representing the public or whatever. Like, when you do stuff like this, you think that people are going to pinpoint who did it, who did it. As for now, nobody knows who the person, like, behind all this stuff. It's like, it does not make sense. I just don't even know what to say. I'm out of words. Like, someone will go far beyond to get whatever they want, you know. And when do we, the citizens, come in? Like, when do we, the citizens, come in? We don't want someone to be hurt before someone comes and help our country. No. We don't want someone to risk their lives for us. It's okay for someone to like pull, work hard, make sure the country is doing good. As in this country, everybody is struggling to make ends meet. And this guy is spreading positive words that he can come and change a lot of stuff. I don't do politics in on my channel, but this really got me since yesterday. I was like, man, you can just be by yourself doing something somewhere and someone like, Harass you. This is harassment beyond expectation because this guy is very powerful and by any means the person that wants him out of the picture probably might be powerful too. Like why do you have to hurt each other? I thought you guys are all connected. You guys are all friends. You guys are all everybody's back. Like why do you have to hurt someone to get where you are? It does not make sense. You know, I learned to just avoid any drama possible in this world that we live in you never know who hate you so much like hatred is one strong thing that when someone hate you they cannot see far beyond anything i feel bad for trump and his family and it's a little bit that i have to share that i felt like it's something that i have to pour it out of my heart but this guy didn't deserve whatever happened to him he just drove his car drove his plane wherever he went and did his rally and he's campaigning for his him coming back as a president and someone feel like i don't want you to be a president so let me get you out of the way getting people out of the way by just unaliving them and letting them disappear you know we live in a bitter world everybody will go to the maximum extent the extent extent to get whatever they want for their own personality this is not the needs for american this is people's personal needs that they feel like if I accomplish this, I'm going to feel better. I'm going to feel good because I have accomplished this. It makes me so sad that people are so full of evil and full of like selfishness, selfless. Like you don't have love. You don't have emotions. You don't have zero. You have nothing in your life to like help people with instead of take people out. Like why? why are people so bitter just like i cannot even think beyond imagination like my brain is like tickling me like i don't understand what the shit 
what all this is about this is about fame this is about being a bigger head or bigger whatever to control us we already dumb as it is that listening to everything follow every whatever we cannot have a saying in our lives now we got to be worried that people that want to protect us have to be going through a lot of pain to protect us i know this is not the first time something like that happened trying to clear someone out of the way so someone can be in there but i think it is high time we the people who are gonna choose wisely for the best person to come in our uh our world to protect us because these are people that protect our finances protect our whatever make sure everything are in line if we are getting rid of good people to keep bad people we are all gonna suffer and in this american crisis nobody can afford anything you cannot afford nothing you work paycheck by paycheck and you're still struggling you're working harder that is it you're working extra shift extra time extra whatever and you're still struggling like this is so unfair to the people living in this country and we need a better someone to protect our country someone who fit to protect and someone who is ready to protect our country make the people in the country have like a flexible life like you cannot even take a day off to just say i'm gonna relax for a day without worrying about your bills like it is so sad if you don't like someone understood i don't like you but why go to extend to get rid of someone this is just so like my heart is so sad now like when you cannot do something and someone can do it just so sad like my heart is in pain what if this guy got hurt very bad that he couldn't do nothing or just even lost his life i always say it takes nothing to be nice but it takes the whole the whole of everything to be nicer to one person because you never know what that one person is going through i'm just too worried in this world like for the first time in a long time everybody's worried about themselves like nobody thinks about people i thought the world used to be for the people but now it's not for the people it's for the somebody that wants to conquer the whole world it's just so sad and whatever you are just know that you have to be nice to people not liking people is not going to change what god is going to uplift in their life or what god is not going to change in their life because god does not live in your house for you to tell him what to do to other people okay just learn to love selfless love selfless love 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 like you're a human being we are not animals attacking each other for food it's like it's, my heart is so broken for this guy it's just he has his own flaws that it is but everybody has their own flaws in this world i just don't even know what to say anymore but by the way goodbye this is crazy